Today we're going to look at how to use counters in Connected Components Workbench and how they work in an Allen Bradley PLC. We're going to use a simple example to show counters working and that would be a parking lot where it would turn on a red light when the lot is full and would have a green light on when there are spaces available in the lot. So our PLC will count cars that enter and cars that leave. So for our outputs, we're going to have a green light. So let's do a direct coil. And we'll say our green light is output 0. So our green light is on. Um, we want a green light on when our red light is not on. So we'll use this variable, um, output 1, as our red light. So when not red light, green light. Let's add another rung. Um, let's add a direct contact for a car entering. So let's go to input 5 for that. And now let's go to our counters. So it'll be in our block. We'll add a block. Um, go to category. And let's go to counters. Um, for this application, we're going to want a up-down counter because we want to count both up and down. As you can see, it's a pretty big block. Um, but you can see the CEU is count up. So this will count up when this goes high. And for our countdown, um, click on this rectangle, find a variable, and we're going to want input 4. So when input 4 is high, it'll count down. When input 5 is high, it'll count up. And now for our output, we are going to want a direct coil for our output to be our full light, which we already decided is our output 1. The last thing we need to do is have a number of cars that the lot can hold. So we'll go down to our PV and we'll just simply put in 5. So when the count on the counter reaches 5, then the output goes high. And when the output goes high, then it consequently turns off our lot open light. The thing to notice is we have these warning signs um, next to our reset and load. Um, the block requires you to have variables there in order to work. So we're going to click on this rectangle and we're just going to pick some unused um, variables for our PLC. We'll just go to input 0 for not using. And for this one, we'll just pick input 1. And there you have your simple counter, which will count up to 5 and then turn the output on high. And we'll say that the lot is full. Alright, so you can see we have a micro 810 here. This code will be demonstrating uh, the timers, or the counters, sorry. Over here we have our two button inputs to increment and decrement the counters. Got our power over to our two LEDs which will indicate the right LED will indicate a lot full and the left LED will indicate that there is spots left in a parking lot. I suppose I didn't explain that that well. Alright, so you can see now the lot size is five. That's what we said it in our code. So if we press the button one, two, three, four, five. The red light will turn on indicating a full lot. If we decrement it one, there's an open spot left. Increment. Dec and as you can see, we can decrement as many times as we want, but it's always going to go back to zero. 
So if we hear, if we go over here and we press one, two, three, four, five, it's full. We can press that a bunch more times, but it's only indicating five as the max. So that's how you implement counters on the PLC.